Serengeti National Park is the only spot in the world where you can see millions of migrating wildebeest across the Acacia Plains. It's the cradle of human life, and it's probably the closest you'll ever go to an intact African wilderness. Welcome to Serengeti National Park, where, despite the thousands of creatures continuously on the go, time seems to stand still. The Serengeti National Park's magic is difficult to put into words. The buzz of millions of wildebeest so thick in the air that it vibrates through your entire body is something you'll try to convey to friends and relatives before realizing it's impossible. The views of honey-lit plains at sunset are so stunning that it's worth the trek just to see them. The sincere grins of the Maasai people give you an instant warm glow on the inside or simply the sensation of continuously being surrounded by thousands of animals. The Serengeti National Park is magical all year round, regardless of the season of the migration. Explorers and missionaries documented the Serengeti Plains and the vast number of animals found there in the late 1800s and early 1900s. Only minimal details were documented prior to investigations in the late 1920s and early 1930s, which provided the first references to the big wildebeest migrations, as well as the first images of the region. In 1930, a wildlife reserve of 1,420 square miles was formed in what is today the southern and eastern Serengeti. They permitted sport hunting activities until 1937, then was prohibited thereafter. The area was designated as a protected area in 1940, and the National Park was founded in 1951, initially including the Southern Serengeti and the Nagorongoro Highlands. The park headquarters were built on the rim of the Nagorongoro Crater. When United Nations delegates met in Stockholm in 1981, Serengeti National Park was one of the first locations to be designated as a World Heritage Site. This area was already recognized as a unique ecosystem by the late 1950s, giving us with many insights into how the natural world works and demonstrating how dynamic ecosystems truly are. Most visitors come here today with one goal in mind, to see millions of wildebeest, zebras, gazelles, and elands on their way to quench their thirst for water and eat fresh grass. These ungulates travel around the ecosystem in a seasonal rhythm specified by rainfall and grass nutrients during this vast cyclical movement. These vast herds of animals on the move may only be seen here. Unlike other well-known game parks, the Serengeti is protected yet unfenced, allowing animals enough space to complete their return journey, which they have done for millions of years. Even though the migration is one of the main reasons many visitors come to the Serengeti National Park, it's worth looking beyond this massive display. First and foremost, nature cannot be directed. It's critical to have reasonable expectations about your possibilities of seeing a river crossing or a huge herd on the move. A 30-minute river crossing, for example, can be missed in the blink of an eye. But don't be put off by this. There are lots of other reasons to visit the Serengeti. It may be the incredible skies of bright colors, or the primordial feeling of thrill as a deep dark gray thunderstorm looms on the great horizon, if not the vast length of territory where you can travel forever and never get enough. Or you might follow the lion's call and visit the Serengeti, which is home to one of the world's greatest concentration of predators, including 7,500 hyenas, 3,000 lions, and 250 cheetahs. Even though animals still rule the Serengeti Plains, this region has a lengthy history of human occupancy. For about 4 million years, not only humans, but also human ancestors, Australopithecus afarensi, lived in this area. 
Several indigenous tribes still live in Serengeti National Park today. One of the most well-known tribes is the Maasai, who are distinguished by their long preserved culture. Despite education, civilization, and Western cultural influences, the Maasai have maintained their ancient way of life, making them an icon of Tanzanian and Kenyan culture. You'll quickly realize that awe knows no bounds in Tanzania's world-renowned national park. The Serengeti is a transition zone, with significant changeovers from rich flat soils in the south to poor mountainous soils in the north, drawing a diverse range of plants and animals. Serengeti National Park has it all, whether you're looking for huge lions, birds, or even small critters. Understanding and experiencing even a small portion of this ecosystem will alter your perspective of our planet and the environment. This place of transition will change you permanently after being stunned by the color, variety, and expanse of this region. The Big Five represent the ultimate African safari experience. Witnessing these magnificent animals, lions, rhinos, leopards, elephants, and cape buffaloes, grazing freely in their natural habitat is an experience you will never forget. However, you may be wondering why those specific species are included in the Big Five. Isn't a giraffe also quite large? Here's an interesting fact. The phrase, large five, was coined by big game hunters and does not refer to the size of the animals. These were the most difficult creatures to hunt, owing to their fury when cornered. It's a good thing the Serengeti's Big Five are currently only shot by camera. Your guide and tracker will assist you in crossing the Big Five off your list. In the meantime, don't forget that other animals, such as giraffes and hippos, are equally exciting to see. A sighting of a pride of lions in their natural habitat will leave you with an indelible memory. We have some good news for you. The Serengeti is home to some massive lion prides that are very easy to spot. Lions form prides because they are very sociable animals. Females hunt more than males in a group, although most will cheerfully scavenge if given the opportunity, because their favorite activity is napping under a tree, something they enjoy to do for nearly 20 hours a day. They walk with elegance and grace, and they have an incredible coat. The leopard, also known as the Prince of Darkness, is the most reclusive and elusive of the Big Five. Leopards are great at hide and seek. If they don't want to be spotted, they can blend in flawlessly. A leopard reclining on a tree branch is most likely to be seen in the Serengeti. They prefer the huge branches of the sausage tree, so never forget to look up. A leopard may be eating his supper high up in a tree, safe from lions and other predators. The buffalo is not the sleepy jungle cow you might expect. It is one of Africa's most dangerous animals with few predators. Lions may try to steal a calf, but they will pay the price later when an enraged herd retaliates. Buffalo require significant amounts of water every day, hence they are frequently observed by a waterhole. Although they are generally bad-tempered, even when hurt, their knowing gaze as described by a novelist, they glare at you like you owe them money makes them fascinating to watch. Buffalo are abundant in the Serengeti, and there's a strong possibility you'll see herds of 1,000 or more of these exciting animals. Elephants are the world's largest land animal, and witnessing one in its native habitat is an unforgettable experience. These gray giants traverse the Serengeti plains and fade into the trees. Female elephants live in tight-knit clans, with family relationships lasting up to 50 years. 
Males frequently quit the clan after 12 years to travel alone or in bachelor herds. Elephants frequently visit watering holes near resorts. When left alone, elephants are gentle, but if one feels threatened, stay out of the path. There is nothing worse than being hunted by a beast that weighs 15,500 pounds, or the equivalent of seven piled automobiles. The rhino, weighing 5,500 pounds, is a prehistoric heavyweight. Unfortunately, the rhino has a horn that is more valuable than gold. Poaching has decimated the Serengeti ecosystem's rhino population over the last several decades, reducing rhino populations from 1,000 to less than 70 individuals. The female rhino only gives birth once every five years, making it one of the most difficult creatures to detect in the Serengeti National Park. But with an expert guide by your side, you might get lucky. Serengeti National Park is an amazing journey that you must experience in your lifetime. There are several safari options that you can choose from and range from extremely rugged to posh resorts. Experience the natural wonder of the Serengeti is definitely something that you would want to see in your lifetime. You will feel the beauty of the earth as you bask in the magnificence of this natural wonder. Feel the beauty of nature. Bask in the ambiance of one of the world's oldest and largest animal migrations and contemplate what all this really means. How can something so innately beautiful exist? Where does this come from? What is its connection to your life? And how does this amazing experience relate to how you see your world? There is no better place on earth to feel the energy of creation and the reality of the ebb and flow of the universe. Visit Serengeti and feel connected to the earth in an unimaginable and unexplainable way. We hope you enjoyed this journey. Please be sure to like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to see all of our videos of all the amazing places to see in the world. Also, please be sure to leave a comment below to share your tips and tricks for how to best see and navigate this amazing place on Earth.